Well, he wakes up in the morning. He hears the school bell ring. He's up in his observatory, but it don't mean a thing. So let's retire special. Shine his light on Norm. Let retirement special. Shine his light on Norm. Well, Norm was a master teacher, but he knew he had to go. And Norm can play the trumpet. You should hear that cat blow. So let the retirement special shine its light on Norm. Let the retirement special boys shine its ever loving light on Norm. Hi, this is uh, Big Daddy of the Wild Sullies in Norm Wheeler, Night Train, as we like to call him. It's a man who is unflappable. That's the word that comes to my mind. Unflappable. One time we were playing at Kilkenny's on a St. Patrick's Day. The night train was up there. He was doing a poem by Yeats, or maybe it was Pasties and a G-string by Tom Waits. And while he was reciting that poem, he was deep into a trance-like state. This beautiful young woman came out of the audience sort of like an angel out of nowhere. And she walked up next to him, and she embraced him, and she stuck her tongue right in his ear. And he continued to recite that poem without missing a beat. And after she ended her embrace, she fell into the audience and disappeared as quickly as she appeared. Unflappable. That's Night Train. As a day laborer in Greece, he once did two days of work in one day. He once built a house with his bare hands. He once built a sauna with other people's bare hands. He once built an outhouse and ended up with only a handful of waste. He once rebuilt a bridge without using a tape measure. Almost. He once fought off a Guatemalan drug gang just by pulling out his trumpet. He is the one who bites the frost. He is the most interesting man in Michigan. He's such a good hunter that the deer come to him. He once hit a grand slam with a porcupine. He married a chocolate magnate just so he could say Grenache. He once wore clothes all day just to see what it felt like. The sun gets up early just to watch him rise. He once went skinny dipping to celebrate a successful day of ice fishing. He doesn't always drink beer. No, wait, he does always drink beer. He is the most interesting man in Michigan. He taught the Danes how to speak Danish. Fahrenheit 451, the temperature at which books burn and he takes a sauna. He doesn't walk downstairs. The earth rises to meet him, step by step. He lives vicariously through himself. He's such a good swordsman, he once appeared in One Musketeer. He's such a good actor, he played the stage manager in our universe. The stars align for Norm. He is the most interesting man in Michigan. The Leelanau sheriffs often question him just because they find him interesting. He knows who's on first. He once beat Watt in a blind tryout for second base. His business card simply says, I'll call you. He's such a good carpenter, it's never occurred to him to measure twice. He is tighter than the bark on a tree. Jim Harrison, Ernest Hemingway, and Ken Kesey once arm wrestled over the right to quote him. 
He has a poem to turn back time. He's never told it. He has no regrets. He is the most interesting man in Michigan. He speaks Danish in Old English. He only blows his own horn. The salmon wait for his first swim in the spring before they begin to spawn. He has read more books than a library ghost. When Jesus H. Christ swears, he says, Norman R. Wheeler! His passport requires no photograph. His organ donation card also lists his beard. He is the most interesting man in Michigan. He has so many bad jokes, Rob Carner walks the other way when he sees him coming. When he walks into Art's bar, the television pauses. Everyone turns and yells, Norm! Norm doesn't drink beer much, but when he does, he drinks here at Art's Tavern. Stay thirsty, Norm.